Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, and I welcome you to Things Found in Old Books. Well, today we continue the saga of Alice Swanty's School Memories. Now, in last week's episode, we began to go through Alice's school memory book from the 1925, and we went through half of it, and today we are going to continue on with the second half. And it's, it's pretty interesting stuff here. Now, we're going to begin. Uh, she's got all this stuff in here. And uh, right here, we found a bunch of calling cards. <laughs> now, you know I like calling cards. All from her, I guess, her classmates. And so everybody in high school there, they each had a calling card. So that was part of the deal. So when you got to be a, maybe a senior, I don't know, you would go out and get your calling cards. But what's interesting about these calling cards, what I found uh, a little bit fascinating, was that they all have their own font. So <laughs> you got that there. It's kind of a, maybe a gothic. I don't know. You got the handwriting font. And, and it's, everybody says, you know, they're not just going to get calling cards. They're going to sit there and, and look over the fonts that they have in the book that you could choose from. And nobody chose the same one. So we got the, I like Lewis. Lewis is very, very plain, like almost like a, just a typewriter or something. But, uh, and so they all, I guess at the end, the end of school year, you, you, you hand them a, a, your calling card and, and I don't know what it is going to, what it's going to do, but, and then in the same area here, we found these drawings. Now these, these are, these are good. They're really good. Here's one, a loose drawing. It says Babe Martin, but inside the book itself, drawing right right onto the pages are these drawings. M-D-T. So there's M-D-T. She's got the big hair. The hair is just flowing out. It's like, whoosh, it's flowing right out there. But the disappointing one, I like this, this, this drawing here. I like it a lot. But she, Alice pasted two calling cards right at the top of the page, cutting off half the drawing and it's so unique it's it's it, she's the woman in the drawing is 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 laughing and she it, the, it really captures the spirit of this laughing woman here uh, so i thought that was pretty good there's some good stuff there and then in the book here a little bit in deeper into the book are some actual photographs so we got photographs and you got uh some more photographs all all Paste it in the book. There's a group of girls there. They're looking very serious. They must be seniors. You know, they're, they're about to, to leave school and they have to leave a, a good impression. And, and down here is a great photograph. I love this one. This is four, four girls sitting on the steps laughing and the, and the laughter looks so natural and genuine and they're really laughing hard about something. And it's a, it's a good picture. I love that picture. So we're gonna flip the pages over and then there's a few pictures of guys you know, looking dapper. And the guy here is in a sweater, carrying a, a, a little, looks like a clarinet. <laughs> He's going to band practice. And then over here, two dudes in their their 20s garb. <laughs> and this person here, looking all confident and about to drive into her future, I believe is Alice Swanty. We're going to flip the pages over here a little bit. And in the back here, we found, it says, Allergan Public Schools Laboratory Ticket. Uh, she's a laboratory ticket for chemistry, and she had to pay $1. $1. Alice Swante paid a dollar for chemistry lab. And next to it was an advertisement for Dunn Pen. Well, it's, it's a it's a fountain pen, but it's a new fountain pen that carries, you know, way more ink than the old fountain pens. Remember, the ballpoint pen didn't come out until the late 40s. So back in high school, you had to get a fountain pen. That's all you had. You had a fountain pen or a pencil, and that was it. And this was an advertising for Dunn Pen. 
And uh, speaking of done, that's all we got today. And uh, I want to thank you. Alice wants to thank you for stopping by. And we uh, really enjoyed doing this. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I want to say thank you again for all the nice comments. Good day.